I've loved it since the day I walked through the door. Uh, I love being part of the team. You know, we are very much um, a team that works together and communicates really well. And yeah, I, I love I love my job. Oh, it's fantastic. The team are so supportive of one another and it's amazing to be out in the community helping everybody that needs our help. It's incredible. It's the best job I've ever had. I've worked in healthcare for seven years, um, so pretty much when I first started working. And I came to Wellmar in January and it's just been an amazing journey. It's really great to be part of a, such an amazing team, not just the Wellmar at Home team, but the whole Wellmar organisation. It's an amazing team. Everybody comes from different backgrounds, so you've got some that are already in community care, some that were in residential care, some that work in hospitals. So across the board we've got a really lovely team with lots of mixed knowledge, which is really good. Well, we go into people's homes in the last four weeks of their lives. All our patients are triaged to that extent before we go in. Uh, we basically provide anything that the patient needs and we support the families with any emotional needs that they have. And we can signpost them to the right direction if they need any extra help. I um, am there for family, I'm there for patients that need us to do personal care, to listen and just to have a chat really and just to make sure everything's okay. It's very important to remember that the family is, is part of the picture um, and that they, they also need that support when they're going through a really difficult time. One of our patients um, was wanted to be at home to die but um, was refusing any help um, and I went out with the community assistant practitioner and introduced the Worldmark Home team and just sat and chatted with him um, that it's not all about personal care, it's all person centred and we support the whole family as well and he actually accepted our help, our care and we went in the following day and he was able, with, able to look after him at home and he was able to pass away at home, which is his wish. I think of a lady actually that I used to care for and I used to go in and give her a lovely foot massage and I remember her always, as I was walking in, she'd always go, oh, it's my lovely massage lady, you know, that sort of thing and actually spending time massaging her feet. We talk about all sorts, but it's that sort of thing that really makes it special for them. Not so long ago, um, I, I went to somebody and um, I turned up, there was an ambulance there um, who wanted to take this very end of life patient to the local A&E &E, um, which was definitely not in their best interest so um, I fought with them and the family to take them to the local hospital where they had a bed the next day we got it all arranged and we got him into there and he actually sadly passed away that night but just knowing that he was where he was going to be the next day rather than in an A&E department to pass away made such a difference to the family and they felt really supported and and you know, it, it made such a difference to them and to me. I think it's a real honour that they allow us into, our, into their homes and that, you know, they're able to pass away at home. But also there's something very beautiful about helping people in palliative care when they're at home. It's that kind of bond and rapport you get with the patient and with the family as well. You almost become a member of their family. I just enjoy looking after people, caring for them and their families, supporting them um, through, you know, not a nice time and um, just being there for them really. I've been working in a hospital for years and it's different there, it's a bit more clinical, especially in the hospital, you know but being in people's homes is so personal and they, you know, they let you into their homes to be part of that journey as well and so they're very accepting to us and I just want to make it the best experience it can be. I think it's very important because it's end of life care so those last few moments are very precious and important to the family as well as the patient. It is very rewarding because they're getting their choice of what they actually want. I'm very proud to be part of this team from where I came from, my background is community care so this is so different because this is about the person-centred care. It's an honour and, and a privilege actually to, to be part of that with somebody in their last hour of need. To be out there to support people to 
to be where they want to be when they're at their end of life and their families, um, it means an awful lot to me due to a personal experience uh, over a year ago in the same situation. So um, it really does mean more than I can say.